All right, guys, welcome, welcome back to the We Max It Football channel. I'm your host, JD. If you're new, please do consider like, share, and smash that subscription button. Um, and if you're a continuous sub subscriber here, keep on putting the contents um, all the places, share it far and wide. We really and truly appreciate it. So we have um, all but having one more game to go in the quarterfinals, so we can actually detail it because I'm not going to be around to cover that quarterfinals, guys. So, all right, we're going to try our best to go through it to give our take because we just watched the nigeria versus netherlands netherlands came out two nil victors but we still have to try and break it down because a lot of things happen in the game and we have to talk about development as well because i have to say kudos to the nigerian they really made it a tough game and congratulations towards the netherlands team they have actually defeated now um the united states and also um the nigerians and both of those teams were highly favorites and they actually got it done um in a unorthodox fashion but at the end of the day you still have to give them credit as you can see here um nigeria 24 shots 11 on target 46 percent um comparable to five shots three on target but two goals and if you watch the game exactly as how the statistics look that's how it was an, in the game nigeria dominated um three thirds of the, the the pitch but they only function uh, function in one two thirds of the pitch the midfield and the um defensive third but when it comes on to the attacking third um selfishness um inexperience really take a tool they try to fire ball from too far um getting over the bar and when they're inside um in and around the 80 yard box they proper um decision making was that not, not they're setting up each other you understand me so the raw athleticism um and natural talent of playing football might be there but the additional um molding might not be there in my opinion i have to be honest to myself that's what i saw and i would love to hear from you um nigerians what say you what you thought let down the team i thought that's exactly what let, let down the team in my opinion that's what i thought and i and i kind of felt like i am like i am actually accurate there but you still had some brilliant players that i have to give credit from both teams um that turned up and did a good job um Definitely, I would say at the letdown of the tournament for Nigeria would be um, Oyano, Oyona. I think she um, she need more practicing as a goalkeeper. I thought that she gave up enough um, problems there in the team from in the first half. So she never really helped the team. She cast the team. So maybe going forward, they need a much more sturdier um, 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 goalkeeper there. Denningham made a mistake today, gave it back to um, 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 Netherlands, and Netherlands finished it. Both goals came from our mistakes so it showcased that um that's the reason why they lost the game so they need to be more uh, more secure at the back and um not be wasteful at the back because you're being wasteful at the front so you cannot open at the back and that's what cost them there but you still have talented players sabastin looked like a talented player i do look like a talented player and yen nezedi um looked like a talented um play, player so they, they do their athleticism and 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 their creativity and skill set their dribbling ability looks very good but differently you need more than that to win games at the top level and I think that's what caught them out today. So kudos to Henry and uh, all sweet um, that got the goals there. Um, it doesn't matter. Mistakes are what they did their job. All right, and that's all you need um, to win games. So they came out of two games that they weren't favorites to win the games, and they did a good job. So we we'll move on to the rest of the games. Them that played Spain played Mexico. That was a very good game. Uh, Mexico hit the bar around two times. Um, got a penalty that got, that got 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 overturned, which I thought was a legitimate penalty. But the referees, as oh, I've been complaining about the referees in this tournament, they have. Their selective biases and i truly believe that i'm standing with that i am not uh, happy with their selective biases and stuff it's not good it's terrible with their biases but anyways spain got more clearer um opportunities um and um deserve to win on the night and they did and they won it on the night and in this one no i i i wouldn't say netherlands deserve to win the game because based on the play i thought that nigeria still played better than ne netherlands created more chances than netherlands but um, netherlands got the win and you have to um congratulate them you understand me but it showcased that the nigerian team can be even better um in the future with a good coach 
No, don't have anything anything bad to say about the coach, but a good coach would even make them better. So, um, Netherlands, Spain in this semi final, and then Colombia versus Brazil. Brazil was a better team overall on the night. Um, Colombia did put some threat um, th through um, um, Calcedo, Caicedo, and um, Geraldo. Um, Geraldo um, Calcedo um, played well in that game. Yes, so a, a, a lot of a lot of a lot of teams showcase some talent, but Brazil deserve to be there, and now we will be waiting on Japan to finalize it with France. I don't know who will be um, coming out of that one. Japan will be going in, in it as the favorites, but I do, I'm not sure who will be coming out because we just saw Netherlands um, out of five shots they got two goals. So what can we say? We have to just say anybody can actually go through and do a job but let me know guys in the comment section who you think will make it in the final game and what went what went wrong with nigeria and what went right with the netherlands in your opinion so if you're from netherlands let me know in the comment section we will be um toggling between two channels the imax it and the we max it so make sure to stay tuned and support um the movement thanks very much for the continuous support smash that like button share and also subscribe um, we will be covering the semi-finals when the time permits which should be august 25th for me and maybe the 24th for you guys if you're on the Concacaf time zone yes but and and for some in europe you, it will be the 25th so make sure to join us via the we max it or the i max it Reg any one of them just make sure to subscribe to both channels all right massive respect guys peace out congratulations to the the teams that advanced netherlands spain brazil and hopefully um a, a, a personnel comes through from france and um japan massive respect peace out guys see you in the next one